Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are taking a look at the brand new Roger Dodger Treasure Hunt Chase piece by Hot Wheels Monster Trucks for 2021. This is part of Case H and it's pretty hard to find so far but I want to thank my friend or my follower or someone out there named Carrie Poe who randomly sent me this from Texas. I don't really know who this person is, but thank you for sending it anyway. Here is Roger Dodger, the 1974 throwback edition. I'll talk about that in a moment. So here's the back of the box. You can see we have the treasure hunt tire symbol for the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks line. So this does denote this as a chase piece. And then we have the Roger Dodger um, rendering and some purple and flames all around here. Then here's the Case H assortment, which I will be reviewing soon as well. I just found those in stores, but no chase pieces. So here we go with the Roger Dodger chase piece piece unboxing right now and there's that and then of course on the inside of the card we always have the congratulations you just found a treasure hunt truck a uh, little note there so here's the actual card insert there and then it comes with a yellow crushed car very fitting for the color palette i like that choice and uh, here it is the roger dodger chase piece super awesome color and if you guys want to know the past chase pieces of this year for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, they have been the Barbie from Case A, the Monster Vet. Then we had the Hot Wheels Shuttle from Case E. So there's that. You can see each one has the treasure hunt symbol on it. This one's right here on the bumper or the back fender, I should say. And this one's on the side panel of the bus. And now on this one, we have it on the front fender right there. So let's talk about what this truck actually is. So a lot of people thought it was kind of just a plain Roger Dodger release, but it's actually the first ever paint scheme of Roger Dodger. This is a 1974 throwback, as I mentioned earlier. This is what it looked like when it first ever debuted this casting, or I should say they debuted this casting Hot Wheels back in 1974. They used purple with this flame pattern. So it's a pretty cool little callback to their original Hot Wheels era cars and uh, they've done a couple of these kinds of things in the past, and it's really nice to see them doing it in the Monstrux line now. Uh, it also has red line tires because the original cars had red line uh, tires on their sidewalls. So it's nice to have that on the monster truck to keep continuity and the chrome rims just like the Hot Wheels car had in 1974. So really cool stuff here. Let's check out the side panel, which there's nothing to actually check out, but the color is amazing. Uh, if my camera will actually grab that color properly, there we go. So it's the exact same color they used for the uh, Avenger back in the past, the purple Avenger. So uh, that color is very familiar for Monster Jam fans. And here's the Hot Wheels logo. It's actually a normal color Hot Wheels logo, which is not very commonly seen anymore on normal Monster Trucks. And then we have the Monster Trucks logo. And there is the Hot Wheels treasure hunt tire symbol right there. And then the hood here has the flame pattern from the 1974 car going up to the roof panel and the tailgate uh, trunk area. So really cool how they recreated those flames all the way back in 1974 to now. Uh, that recreation of those graphics is really cool. And it has a blue windshield, which I'm assuming the real car had back in 1974 as well. It has a chrome chassis, a black roll cage, and a chrome motor insert. And pretty much everything else is the exact same as a normal Roger Dodger would have, which is nothing. So they don't have any uh, headlight printing or taillight printing. But uh, this is a really cool piece. Definitely an awesome chase piece choice that I don't think anyone was really expecting. I'm still waiting for them to do uh, a Magic 8 Ball, but that's also a Roger Dodger, so I feel like that probably won't be this year. But they definitely surprised me with the last few chase pieces they've done. Barbie was definitely a big shock in the first uh, case of the year. And then Hot Wheels Shuttle was very obscure as well because this is their real life shuttle uh, at their headquarters in El Segundo, which is really close to where I live. So I'm surprised I've never seen this bus before. But that was based off of their shuttle bus at El Segundo headquarters. Uh, and now we have a significant Hot Wheels history piece here with this Roger Dodger 1974 throwback. So again, thank you to Carrie Poe or whoever sent me this. Please message me if you did. I want to know who it was so I can thank them. Uh, credit to that person will be on brianzpatton.com with this truck. And I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. This is Ryan on Monster Moose CD signing out.